diggers i'm here waiting on my doctor you guys see miss van pelt too i don't know i guess she's running a little late today hey isn't this some sort of hipaa violation or something i mean me being at the doctors and you filming me and stuff you know like patient doctor privilege or that's all right i don't care you know i don't mind talking about my sickness if it can you know help or encourage or you know give strength to somebody out there with the same sickness so, you know, and if somebody out there can maybe help me, you know, please post a comment. You know, I've been dealing with this sickness all my life. Um, long time viewers know, of course, about it. Some of you newer viewers might not know, but um, I have this sickness where I just can't stop buying cool secondhand stuff used cheap. I, I, I just can't do it. And much like a uh, alcoholic drunk renting a room above a liquor store that has a bar in it they put a super goodwill not even I, I won't even say it's half a mile from my house it's literally one block and then across the street right next to the bus stop I, I, I can't not not go in the goodwill if I go buy it you know what I'm saying that's that, that's just crazy I, I, I can't I can't stop myself oh we got bombs over Baghdad going on getting ready for the uh, Civil War coming up but um yeah I, I have a, a, a terrible sickness and and I, I guess genetically speaking it comes from my father's side of the family I mean as far back as I can remember like say like 1979 or so the the greatest thing was to be at the flea market on the weekends growing up in New Brunswick New Jersey you had three options you had Route 18 Flea Market, East Brunswick, Route 1 Flea Market, New Brunswick, and English Town Flea Market, which was English Town just past Old Bridge. You might know it from such famous races as the uh, National Summer Drag Strip at Raceway Park. Ha, 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 funny commercial. Anyway, shut up. So, like, like I said, so growing up, like, you know, I was like five, six years old with my dad at the flea market. Like, the awesome thing then was, like, comic books and and baseball cards, football cards, really any cards. I remember I had, like, Star Wars cards, Close Encounters cards, you know you know what I'm saying? So it, it started as a, as a youth, you know, with, like, baseball cards and comic books. I, uh, I still love the smell of, like, a Richie Rich comic book man like from the flea market like that smell is like indebted in my brain but anyway you know before super walmart you know poor people would go to flea markets now i know in the west coast they might be like swap meets and you know tag sales yard sale garage sale all different names for them but basically anywhere like a thrift shop that you can buy second hand used stuff 
cheap, you know, that that was my thing and shit. As I got older, I learned more about the flea markets from, you know, a, an older person's perspective and you realize a lot of the stuff is falling off the back of trucks or out of the receiving door at a big box retailer, you know what I'm saying? So you learn a few things about the flea market. I don't condone any of those activities, but it's there and somebody's gonna buy it, so might as well be me, right? Well, that was, you know, the old days and shit, you know. Uh, I hate to say it, but you know, sometimes boost at one flea market and then go sell at another flea market and you know, crazy stuff like that I did when I was a stupid kid. But um, like I said, you know, it progressed. Music, there was always dope music stores in the flea market. Uh, Route 18 had the ill stand with nothing but black light posters and patches for your denim jacket. Then the heavy metal store. Shout out to, uh, I think it was called Rock Asylum. It was like a dude in a, in a wheelchair, if I remember correctly. And like, he used to have the best metal and fucking thrash hardcore shit. You always had like Route 1 Flea Market, had Owls, Army, Navy. Shout out to that butterfly. Owls, Army, Navy, you know what I'm saying? You get your dope camo gear and all that shit. They had one stand in there, it was nothing but Kiss. I remember there was like a Kiss waterfall where like blood came out of Gene Simmons' mouth. And um, but you Kiss action figures, cards, toys, records, tapes, cassettes, anything you could think of, the whole store was just Kiss. It was cool. And you know, you had your comic book spots. I even remember there was like a, a fortune teller in the back corner. And you know, you had your mixed DJs. You would run into, you know, like Backspin. Um, shout out, DJ Backspin. He'd be selling mixtapes at the flea market. You know what I mean? You, you never know who you could run into hustling, you know? But the flea market life and thrift store life is just, you know, like ingrained in my blood so like the sickness is, is not something that you can make go away at the beginning of the year I swore up and down I wasn't gonna buy any more stuff hope you guys don't mind me talking because yeah, I can't get in touch with Miss Van Pelt and I need to talk to somebody because like I said at the beginning of the year I swore I wasn't gonna buy stuff I was gonna start selling stuff on eBay uh, DJ Functional, you know, pushed me. He's even helped me out and sold more stuff than me by just helping me out, being a good friend, selling stuff on eBay for me, just because I am the great procrastinator. But I swore I wouldn't buy stuff. But this Goodwill, you know, so close to the house, I, I can't help myself. And the time to buy it's when you see it. So I can't go into Goodwill and not buy something there that's cool. I might not need it. 99% of the time I don't need it. 99% of the time I don't even probably want it, but it's there and I see it. It's like, you know, that great feeling like on Christmas when Ma Dukes would give me the Sears catalog or the Pennies catalog, and I'd just go through and circle all the stuff I want and just, oh man, you know, I wound up like, my Christmas list was like 311 things and shit. By the time I got done with like the NFL watches and stuff in the front, and went all the way to the back to the toy section. So like going in the Goodwill, you don't know what you're gonna find. I mean, if I'm looking for, you know, a phone, I can type in phone on the internet and every choice in the world is there. You know what I mean? If I need a pair of pants and I go to Macy's, I'm buying the same pants that everybody else is buying and wearing and shit. So, and I'm paying a hundred fucking times the price, man. It's crazy. Like. I just can't justify going into like stores and buying new stuff, man. I, I just can't do it. I, I, I can't. So, you know, I, I try to control it, but if I see something cool, man, I just, I just gotta buy it. It's a sickness, you know? Like, take this for example. I got a couple things to speak. And this is why I came in. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do here. But, um, so they had this like helicopter shit pretty cool it was pretty big it was how much it was 99 cents what am I gonna do with it just hang it up here I got this mask 69 cents it's from Jamaica man because I well how do I know because it says it it's Jamaican man so 69 cents as of course you've seen in the crib and shit I like masks so for 69 cents I got a new mask. 
$1.99 bag of what I thought was GI Joe's. We're gonna look into this a little more, but $1.99, 99 cent. So this is $4 right here. I got $4 worth of stuff that is just dopeness that if I wanted one action figure, I couldn't go anywhere but the fucking Dollar Tree to buy it for less than $4, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I don't know, I just need to talk to somebody and, oh shit, I just got a text. Huh, seems that uh, Miss Van Pelt won't be able to make it today. She also happens to be the holder uh, for a place kicker on an independent football team out of uh, Canada. So she's not gonna be here today. So thanks for letting me talk to you guys. And I don't know, maybe we'll play some records and we'll come back and talk some more. And if anybody out there has got any advice for me, please post a comment, you know what I'm saying? Let's, uh, let's go inside and get into some records and stuff. And I don't know, just get my mind off all this stuff. Come on. Hey, we're gonna get to them records now, but before I do, I just wanna say something. Um, last week, we went down to Miami Beach and had an awesome time. We were supposed to meet up with two of our viewers in Miami Beach. Unfortunately, there was a little scary incident, and um, we never got to meet up with them. But I just wanted to take a minute and talk to you guys about safety, because there's a right way and a wrong way to get to the beach. Driving your car, that's the right way. Taking a bus to the beach, that's a good safe way you know and now I, I'm just gonna show the footage I don't like talking about it, it, it you know it it kinda messed me up knowing you know that these kinda people are out there but we had some uh, some of our crew do a little reenactment before the show today and uh, let, let's just roll the footage and and please guys if you're going to the beach take the right way Central City, where an unsuspecting young girl is about to take a very unpleasant ride. I can't wait to get to the beach, Jody. Here comes the bus. Let's forget the bus. We'll hitchhike and save the fare for the jukebox. No way. Hitchhiking spells trouble. Oh, come on, Beth. You sound just like my parents. Besides, I'm always careful. I never accept rides from creeps. You sure you won't come with me on the bus? No. Nope. I'll meet you at the beach entrance. showing up in the nick of time thank god they didn't send marvin and wendy you know what i mean but let's just take a look at our villain of the week one more time in slow-mo i don't think there's penetration but there's definitely intent Better wear your robbers and get them. 
gonna catch your death. Keep your eye on what you're eating and something on your breath. Treat a lady like a woman, treat a woman like a man. But I was only seven and I didn't understand. Hey, we, we keep getting these great projects and they all fall through on. We had a wonderful script. We were gonna do the musical version of In Cold Blood. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it was, a, it was a great idea. It was a terrific package they set up. It was gonna be us and the Happy Days kids. And at the end, we was gonna slaughter the entire Cunningham family. <laughs> I just want to give a big shout out to my alter ego, The Patriot. I heard he's been hosting the show the past few weeks. Today was supposed to be the start of season nine, but I guess uh, The Patriot kicked it off for me a few weeks ago. So good looking out, Patriot. So here it is, the $1.99 bag. I saw him, Sir Bantor, yeah, and I was like, oh, I gotta have that fucking shit. I'm not 100% sure what's inside here, because it's taped up, so we're gonna open it up. A lot of them are just pieces, so that kind of sucks, but already off the bat I can see a He-Man dude. Wow, he's in good shape too. You know his name posted up, I'm not sure. Yeah. Nice and clean. He's got a grappling hook and shit. Word up. Ah, uh, I know this motherfucker. Deep Six, I think. He was the, um, diving guy for G.I. Joe. Deep Six, I think he's supposed to have a helmet on. That's the Cobra Frog, man. Yeah, the top half of Serbantor. Shout outs to Serbantor. One of my other doctors, Dr. Mindbender, a good friend of Serbantor's. I think that's like Flash, the electrical guy, like updated version. I'm not sure. Oh shit. Yeah, you know who that is? It's the one armed face man. The one arm boxer face man. Fucking general from Jade Palace must have sent that out to me. Aw oh, shit, Stan, God bless America. Sergeant Slaughter up in here. If I'm not mistaken, Sergeant Slaughter initially was like a mail away only guy. Sergeant Slaughter and he's complete. Oh shit. Suckers better step. If you know who that is, post it up. Yeah. Wow. For a dollar ninety-nine, great deal. I don't know who that is. Post it up if you do. He's like a newer Joe-looking guy. D 
this guy is fucking dope looking. He's G.I. Joe, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know who he is. Some mercenary. If you know who he is, post it up. Uh, I remember this cat for G.I. Joe, but I don't know his name. If you do, post it up. Help me out, peoples. I'm always giving you guys knowledge. Uh, he's like a tank driver or something. Oh shit, we got Sir Bantor's legs. We can rebuild him. Oh shit, and we got this motherfucker's snake dick. We can rebuild him. Oh, uh, there's a, like, the fucking tank driver, Cobra tank driver. He's got somebody's thing on him. Oh shit. Storm Shadow, the fucking ill ninja. What up, my ninjas? Oh man, and we just had these guys. We used them as a clue on our secret puzzle way back. Tomax and Zamot. If you speak it, you'll find it. We just talked about these two guys, and I didn't have the figure, so I had to go online and fucking get a picture of them. But now I got them. You guys are like four episodes too late. Oh, excuse us. Ah, uh, they used to talk and like finish each other's sentences. <laughs> yeah, Tomax and Zaymont. Um, we got like this red ninja guy. I don't know who that is newer. Oh shit, my ninja Flint. What up, Flint? I used to have him do. Him and uh, Duke, the older leader of Joe, battle it out to see who can fuck Mary J and Scarlet. Yeah, Flint. Flint would always win. I liked him better. Oh, shit. And we got Snake Eyes. Well, at least the top half of him. Ooh. And the bottom half. And the legs. Wow. These guys are all completed, would appear. He's like the tank driver for Joe. Cool. So, yeah. We got that. Let me show you what else we got. This big ass wicker basket for a dollar ninety nine. What am I gonna do with the big ass wicker basket? I don't know. But for a dollar ninety nine, I might need it in the future. Who knows? If I find a lid and a snake, I can become a snake charmer. Yeah. And now it's time for one of my favorite segments, Movie of the Week. Yeah, it's one of my favorite new movies. Can you name this movie? I left a clue for you at the end. Post it up if you know it. Let's check it out.
Stick that in your VCR. Suck my face.